Okay guys, so this is going to be the third part of the modelling and it's not exactly modelling, it's more of tweaking and adjusting the model to kind of our liking. Um, so one of, one of the things that is probably most noticeable is the blade just seems a little bit um, too short in my opinion. Maybe it'll be different once we scale down the other proportions, um, but let's just kind of go through it and I'll show you why we're going to be doing this. Uh, so I'm going to turn off the ground line so we can see this and the first thing to do is to grab the um, actual blade itself and what we're going to do is we're going to um, turn off all of these just so we can see the blade and what we want to do with the blade is we want to actually just drag this into the center um, and that way when we bring back everything else it kind of um, lines up which is of course what we want um, so over here it looks pretty good um, what we need to do though however is grab um, the blade attachment nope it's gonna be this one nope it's gonna be this one there we go um, we're gonna grab this um, object here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually grab um, these points and we're gonna move them in some um, <clears throat> now it doesn't need to be moved in too much so I'm probably just going to do this manually just move it in ever so slightly and grab the opposite edge and also bring this in slightly as well um, the reason we're doing this is because we just want it to look like it um, actually fits and as you can see here it's a little bit too far in and um, then we can grab this side and just move it in slightly as well so here we're just kind of adjusting um, what I want to do also is possibly um, bring the sides in because you can see um, straight away that we have an issue where um, it kind of obviously the, because the blade bends we're going to want this to bend as well so just very manually what we're going to do is undo that and grab both of these edges just so they're somewhat symmetrical I don't have a specific width to bring these in, I'm kind of just looking at the blade profile and I'm using that to just kind of understand where proportions really need to be. Something like that looks good. And then we can grab this one and just move it out ever so slightly. Just so we have a somewhat of a border around this. Um, now looking at this it looks a lot better um, this is basically just going to be you know it doesn't have to be perfect because we're never going to see under there but looking at it from this perspective it looks a lot better and than it did before we could get away with um, moving it a little bit but as you can see here we do have a little bit of intersection so what we'll do is we'll just go in and we'll just make sure that this isn't intersecting but it is very very close let's zoom in a tiny bit here and we can just move that out ever so slightly and we can check the opposite side as well I don't actually believe that is touching in fact that one does need to be moved in slightly as well so we'll grab that and we'll just start moving it in a tiny bit just to kind of get the profile correct and that looks pretty decent um, to me we could scale it in a little bit more on the um, edges but for now I think I'm gonna say I'm happy with that and it looks nice um, yeah I'm quite happy with that so what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm quite happy with how this top section here looks um, I think we could adjust it a tiny bit but I'm not sure, I think the main thing that we do need to adjust, in my opinion, is probably going to be the blade length. So what I want to do is grab the actual blade, turn off the, um, not the symmetry, just the subdivisions, and what I want to do is basically grab a good portion of... I'm just trying to think here which would be the easiest way. I'll probably go for, I'm going to drag it all. So I might as well just go in object mode and drag this down to perhaps there. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, grab these top sections here. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to extrude this up. But I'm going to try to do it in sections just to save a little bit of time. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And keep going. And one more. We can bring that all the way up. And that looks cool. So now if we have a look in the perspective, that looks a lot better. It looks um, more proportionized, if you like. Um, it just looks like that's the correct length um, in terms of the blade. Um, and I'm actually quite happy with that. Just going to go in here um, and just kind of seeing what this looks like. It doesn't look too bad. It looks like we've got a little bit of an issue there. Which I'm not sure. I think it's just due to this being too far in. Like so. And that looks alright. <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of fixed it, I think. Yeah. Looks alright. Um, any minor imperfections will be covered with the texture, so that's not too um, worrisome really. Um, but just looking at it overall, it looks fairly decent in my opinion, it looks good. Um, one of the things that I would like to change, however, is on this top section here. Um, the reason I want to change this is, is very simple, it's because it doesn't really um, seem like it's it, it belongs. Um, and I'll, I'll show you why. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into polygon mode, turn off only select with visible elements, select that and then use U and Y to basically um, go all the way up again to this section and then I'm going to hit um, control and the points mode and then I'm going to go back to this and hit delete then go back to point mode and hit delete again. The reason I did that is because if I start um, going into optimize, if points around the mesh, let's say just for example's sake, this is less than 0.1, which it isn't, but if it was, then I would actually weld them together and I don't actually want to do that. Um, it's kind of just something you've got to kind of keep in mind, um, especially when you're in here with these really, really um, very tight edges like this one here for it would be a perfect example um, So that's just kind of a quick way of doing it. I'm going to grab edge mode and I'm going to close polygon hole Close that up grab the knife tool with line and just connect these up and We are still going to have a bevel here and we're just going to create our own um, custom one if you like um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, extrude this inner a little bit. We're going to extrude it upwards by a tiny bit again. I'm not going to go anything specific, I'm just going to basically do this. Um, that looks okay. Do it again. I'm going to go to bevel. Bevel this up with no um, points. And I'm probably going to bring this up to about 10. And this can be, let's see. Let's do this to about 10 as well, I think. Actually, let's go 12. 12 looks good. Um, and again, we're going to run into that issue where um, these points are all, well, mixed up, really. It's kind of annoying. Why, I have no idea why it does that. Uh, I've played with the settings. Can't figure anything out. So I mean, it's, it's a somewhat easy fix, but it's one, just one of the things that shouldn't really happen. Um, anyways, we're going to insert this in um, by quite a lot, like so. And then we're going to grab the knife tool with um, loop. We're going to zoom in here and we're going to put a loop over there, a loop there, and a loop there. And then we're also going to add a loop in the middle here as well. And now if we turn on the symmetry, you can see we have kind of a top end, it's kind of a basher if you like um, and from the looks of it 
that looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with the proportions of that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to save that. And um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I know it's a very short video, but we just needed to make a few tweaks to this, such as the blade length, um, a few adjustments to the model. Um, and we, um, once we're happy with it, I mean, that's the main thing, right? Um, you can model anything you want, but if you're not happy with how it looks, then you will have to adjust it, and that's what we did in this episode. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, the next video will most likely be UVing. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next episode. Peace.